Taking control of your printer is getting harder and harder every day. Prices are going up on everything. Raspberry Pi prices are ridiculous, so you can't use free tools like Octoprint and different things like that without paying a pretty big chunk of change when you could, uh, before COVID, gotten these extremely cheap. Well, today, today we're going to talk about a solution to that that won't hurt your wallet near as bad as trying to get into Raspberry Pi. See you guys inside. Hello and welcome to today's video. As I said, we are looking at a solution today that basically replaces the Raspberry Pi and a need for a webcam or a Pi camera to take control of your printer. And this is only for the FDM side, guys. Only FDM printers are involved in this one. Sorry, resin guys. We'll have something for you probably, hopefully later, but not today. So today, getting control of your printer can be a blessing in disguise being able to check on it remotely while you're out of the house control it move it pause it if you're seeing you're running out of filament all those things time lapsing octolapse plugins all those things that we would do usually with octoprint but the problem is the raspberry pi that you normally would use a tool that was like 35 to 50 bucks now if you go on amazon looking for a raspberry pi 4 say two to four gig, you're looking over $100 just for that board. Then you got the micro SD that you need, then you need the camera, which like with me, I use the Logitech C920s, which is another 70 bucks. So all told, the Raspberry Pi is pushing you up toward almost $200. This is crazy for something that used to be under hundred bucks. Well, today we're talking about a solution to that. And it's by Miniton, it's the Beagle Cam. So this little camera is an all-in-one device for taking control of your, of your printer, getting time lapses, and everything right from your phone. Sounds a little too good to be true to be something that's about 75 to 80 bucks. But let me tell you right now, I put this guy on one of my Ender 3s, my Odins. I even put it on a CR10. And it's really nice having the control on the phone. The only thing I didn't like about it was I can only control it from my mobile device. I can't log into a web page and look at it. That's my only downfall, really, to this device. It is quick, simple to use. This is the 32 gig model, and you Prusa guys, make sure you're checking when you're buying this, because there's a specific version of this for the Prusas. So keep that in mind. But this is the basic Beagle Cam 32 gig US version, and honestly, I had this up and running in 10 minutes. Pretty darn cool. I couldn't even get a Raspberry Pi Octoprint going that fast. So what we're gonna do today for the rest of this video and talk about is we're gonna take this guy, we're gonna get it out of the box, we're gonna look at it. We're gonna look at the manual a little bit and kind of see what's all involved with this little guy. Because getting it up on your printer is really simple and let me tell you, having control of your printer is completely something that you want because FDM printers, you don't want a pile of spaghetti if you can check on it and stop it with your phone. Pretty darn cool and it can stop mishaps and different things like that and just all in all all in one device set up next to your printer get those cool time lapses see what you're producing and show your friends i mean that's pretty darn cool and just honestly control having that ability to remotely take control of my printer and watch what my printer is doing when i need to is key like when i'm doing a mandalorian helmet and a big print and i see something not quite right having the ability to pause it come back come in there and check on it blessing in disguise so let's get over to the desk let's get this out of the box let's take a look at the user manual and see what it takes to get this site guy set up now i am on the ios side so i'm apple on this on this part i'm mostly app, i'm apple so but i will talk about uh the android side as well because you can control either from an ios or an android so Definitely a quick, sim simple app to download on your device and you get control. Now, if you're new here and you're interested in more stuff like this cool tool and stuff like that, make sure you hit that subscribe button, join us, make sure you get notified of new videos and everybody that watches this video, if you can, give me a thumbs up. That helps the video help with that like, keep us moving. And if you have any questions about 3D printing, make sure you hit that down in the comments and we'll see if we can help you out. And check us out on Tuesday nights at 8.15 East Central Time when we're live streaming and building cool stuff. So let's hop over to the desk and take a look at this one. All right, guys. So like I said, we're gonna take a look at the Minton Beagle Cam. We're gonna get this thing unboxed and we're gonna take a look at it here. So 
nice cover sleeve, nice quality box, good protection. It's really well nicely packed. Love the way it looks. Of course, the first thing we get is the instructions. When we get a little further along in the video, we'll switch to the other cam and I'll show you more of the instruction manual. But all in all, here's the goodies of the pack. So this is why I, lo I like this so much, is there's the camera, that's it. 32 gig SD card already installed, Wi-Fi everything. You just gotta peel that off. And guess what? You're ready to get the power cord. And the USB cable. Now mine came with two USB cables. This one is the micro and the other, the uh, basically I call it a printer cable, um, came with it in a separate packaging. And then you've got the USB to USB-C with your power brick to power it on. We'll kind of start playing around here a little bit. And we'll also kind of just take a look at the manual here for a second. But the nice thing is I got a handy dandy power strip right here we can plug this in with and she'll talk to you here in a second so really what's in the box not a lot because what this is it's not a camp complicated device it's meant to be very simple it's been to be plug and play basically with any fdm printer the camera is ready for Wi-Fi connection, which is awesome. So I'm going to change the view here for a second. And we're going to just kind of start taking a look at the manual. So um, there is a reset needle if needed. The micro SD card's included. It's already plugged in. The camera's already ready to go. You can see there's a lot of good information um, in there. I just realized that is upside down. So we are going to fix that real quick. There you go. Now you can actually read it. So specifications, all that stuff right there, and basically what what points are what on the camera. So basically there's an app you download, you download the Beagle Print app, you plug this into power and you plug this into the USB of your printer, that's really all you gotta do to connect it. You download the app and then you'll use the QR codes to conf and select QR scan to configure your device. You'll need to know your Wi-Fi SSID, your Wi-Fi's name, and you'll need to know your Wi-Fi password to make this work. And then it's just a couple of steps to get it working. So all in all, really easy peasy. I found the instructions to be very, very good for this beautiful device that just makes printing easier. I've already done a few prints with it. The camera quality is very similar to the C920s um, that I was using and basically Let's move over to actually taking a look at some of the screens that you'll see on my phone. So let's hop over to that and let's hop over to that piece so you can actually see me talking to you. Um, let's hop over to that piece and get basically see what that camera over there. Yes, I have two of them. Um, I bought two because I needed to. I was short on Raspberry Pis um, and I just had two printers too many. So definitely worth giving a try and definitely a cost savings versus trying to acquire some of those Raspberry Pis. Um, now, granted, used, you can probably find some, but they're even gonna be a ridiculous price for what they should be um, here in the United States. So, um, definitely a great thing. These guys have definite different things to work on the screen and displays. So, go check these guys out. They're out on Amazon, link in the description down below. But let's go take a look at some of the screens. All right, guys, so we're on the iPhone, you guys can see, we just went through the screen. I just connected to it. Um, here I am rolling over to it, waving hi. This is live. The camera's doing it right to the phone as I'm doing this. You can see temperature controls. As I move across, here's my XYZ axis I can control. Um, uploads of the G-code files. And then the time-lapse area. And then, of course, settings where you can name this and all this kind of different things that you can do with this little handy device. So hopping back. To the main screen here the plus up there at the top is where you hit to add new ones you can do the qr scan configuration and the fac the upgrade if you need to perform an upgrade on yours there it is and the about as well so hopefully this has been helpful in showing you how awesome this little device can be um, and we're going to move on to closing this video out thanks guys
All right, guys, that's the Beagle Cam out of the box. Just kind of a quick, simple, awesome tool to help you out. You can see it sitting back there behind me doing kind of fun stuff. It is a really cool tool, really great. But again, it's only for FDM printers. It's only for the filament printers. It's not going to work for you on resin. Sorry, guys. And it just connected to the Wi-Fi while we were talking. So awesome thing. But it is a really cool device. The price point of $75 to $80 is not a bad price point for this. It is really a good price point. Um, and just honestly, I'm impressed. It's well built. It was quick to ship. Link for this is down in the description from Amazon. Um, it is my affiliate link, so if you click on it and go over to Amazon, I appreciate the help out. It helps give the channel a little bit of money. So make sure you're just keeping an eye on that and following us for other stuff. And make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new here. And we'll catch you guys in the next video.